with all the fuss that is going on around the Division 2 pre-order and all the different versions of the Division 2 that are available now for pre-order I decided to make a video about it and help you guys with the decision and address some things along the way from my point of view which not necessarily has to be your own Hello Agents and welcome to another Division 2 video First time I noticed that the Division 2 is available for a pre-order in my Uplay client, I was very excited and I wanted to buy the game immediately. With more than 2500 hours in the Division 1, you can say that I am a hardcore fan of the franchise. But to be honest with you guys, the excitement didn't last long. As soon as I noticed that there is more than one option to choose from, I was in a sort of a problem what version to pick for myself. To be able to make a final decision I wanted to have some more information so I went on the Ubisoft official store website and this is what happened. Instead of the three versions that were available for my region in my Uplay client I saw that there is even more different versions available to buy. Now that was too much for me and I decided to postpone my pre-order until I thoroughly check out what the heck is going on. In this video we will go through the 5 versions of the Division 2 for the European region and I will try to explain you my point of view in this unexpectedly strange situation. Is the hype about the Division 2 ended even before it started? That is the question that is going on in my mind these last couple of days. Now if you are following my channel you might remember the video about how the Division 2 is breaking the records for the beta signups by the 4 times the amount regarding the previous version of the game according to Ubisoft. And this is in my opinion where the real problem has started. After the E3 the Division 2 became one of the most expected games in the AAA gaming and with the announcement of the release date and the free year 1 content, raids and what not, everybody were hyped up about this game. This resulted in the enormous number of signups for the beta and the company simply decided not to pass up on this opportunity. Without any expectations from the community, they decided to monetize the beta access simply by renaming it into private beta. Beta access is usually a free version of the unfinished game where some of the players are getting the opportunity to test out the game features before the game launch. In return those players will give a feedback to the developers of the game on how everything is working and what can be done better. This action is a win-win situation where players are having early access to the game and fun and the developers are having great info about the current state of the game and ability to use that same info to be able to release more polished product on the market. Never ever in the history of the gaming beta access was monetized. It was restricted on the certain number of players but never monetized. And now we come to the point where one question is popping out. Is this good or the bad thing for us gamers? Let me put it this way. When you signed up for a beta access you have no guarantee that you will get it. Honestly, when I signed up for the Division 2 beta, I was worried about that I may be not going to get it, no matter how hard I wanted this to happen. With the pre-order of the Division 2, you have an option to get guaranteed access to the beta. And to be honest, it is a great thing for me. The stone fell off from my heart and now I know that if I do pre-order I will get that wanted beta access. And before we jump on the first version of the Division 2 game that is available for a pre-order I will address why this might not be the best thing if we looking into the moral side of the things. The company, in this case Ubisoft, recognize that they are having the hot stuff in their hands and without wasting too much of a time they decided to monetize the beta access. They acted like the gold diggers and some people will describe that behavior with the words such as greed. In other words they are 
pushing players to pre-order with something that was not meant to be monetized. And if this was the only thing they made, nobody will complain much. But this is not the only thing they did and in this manner. And we will go through the other things which make people unhappy about all this pre-order issue later in the video. Which brings us to the first version of the game available for the pre-order. The Division 2 Standard Edition pre-order offer. With the Standard Edition of the game you will get access to private beta for the price of the game which is 59.99 euros or dollars. You will also get an additional pack, the Capital Defender pack which includes exotic SPAS 12 gauge shotgun, the weapon blueprint and the Hasman 2.0 outfit. The shotgun is called Lullaby. Next thing you are going to get is a Tommy the Teddy Bear, which is a backpack trophy and it comes with the PC version of the game only, which is basically a code. This is only a cosmetic item that will hang from your backpack. And the last thing you are going to get with the standard edition of the game is a steelbook which is a hard case for the physical game copy and it comes only with the standard and gold editions for the PS4 or Xbox One. Also worth mentioning is that for the first 5000 pre-orders you will get the badge added to your cart but only for the PC or Xbox versions. Alright guys, something is missing in this standard version of the Division 2 and it is a huge thing if you ask me. I'm talking about the year 1 pass. Even we get the promise during the E3 that all first tier DLCs are going to be free, that is not Today, the case. we're ready to outline our plans for year 1. We will be launching three DLCs in the form of episodes. Each one will bring new story, new areas to explore, and new activities. And the best part, all of these episodes will be completely free for everyone. You will get free year one content only if you pre-order a gold edition of the Division 2. And for that you will have to pay a 99.99 euros or dollars, a hundred bucks. Translated, there is no free DLCs for the standard pack owners of the game. You will need to add extra 30 euros or dollars to get free year one pass. And that is, if you ask me, a complete BS. It will not be a BS if they didn't announce the game with the free DLCs for all. But now you can clearly see that they lied to us. Well, I know those are some heavy words, but those words are describing this situation best. And there is no other way to say this. We have been lied. Which brings us to the second edition of the pre-order. And that is a Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Gold Edition. Which will cost you 99.99 euros or dollars. A hundred bucks, as I said before. With this version of the game you will get everything else mentioned earlier for the standard edition plus the year one pass and a three days early access to the game. Three days early access to the game? Now what the heck is this? As a proud owner of the gold edition you will have access to the game three days before peasants that bought standard edition have paid only 60 bucks. Unbelievable. I won't even comment on this. Uh, just see what Yannick has to say about it. Uh, there's also the discussion about early access uh, yeah. to some of the content, both the game and for the, uh, yeah. the extras in the year one, yeah. uh, the episodes. So, yeah. <laughs> so I confused myself. Tell us about it. Tell no, us about so, it. So, yeah, the, one of the... Uh, so there's actually, yeah, there's two early access. One yeah. comes with... Uh, the pre-order versions, when you pre-order Gold Edition and beyond, mm -hmm. uh, you can get a three days early access to the game. And if you have the year one pass, you will get a seven days early access to all the, ep the episodes. Yeah. Uh, that's basically uh, how that works. <coughs> now, 
the idea behind the, uh, the early access is that we really want it to be focused on the narrative discovery. We want the early access to be about the people that really cannot wait to find out about the new stories that we're offering in the episodes. Uh, so they can get, you know, they can get to dive into it right away. We know that there is a competitive aspect in the game. We know that there is a, you know, a lot of things with character building, with min maxing, with all of that. And an early access could actually give a head start to people. So we're fully aware of that. And when it comes to actually defining what is available in the early access, uh, we're going to take that into account. We are not looking at the early access to be a way for people to uh, you know, like build their character early. It's not about that. It's really about going out there and playing the missions, playing the, uh, playing the episodes. Uh, so when it comes to everything that is competitive, that is uh, you know, items, PvP, and all of that, these are things that we're going to be uh, you know, looking at very carefully in yeah. terms of what is available during the early access, what is not available during the early access, and maybe released to everyone at the same time later on. Uh, these will all be treated uh, very carefully. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, guys. I had feeling that both Peter and the Yannick were embarrassed when they were trying to explain those decisions to us. Anyway, this brings us to the third version of The Division 2, available for pre-order, and that is Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Ultimate Edition. And for this one, you will need to pay 120 euros or dollars. But wait a little bit to hear what is included in this one. The Ultimate Edition of Tom Clancy's The Division 2 includes Tom Clancy's The Division 2 game, digital copy, the year one pass, a 3 days early access to the game, but also some digital bonus content, which is the Battleworn Secret Service pack, including the Secret Service outfit, a rare quality emote, an exotic quality M4A1 skin, the first responder pack, including a special outfit and a weapon skin, the elite agent pack, including an exotic assault rifle, an exclusive skill effect, and additional stash space. Yeah, you heard that right, an additional stash space. To the division players, uh, stash space was always a thing of great importance, and it is an essence for the looter type of a game. Alright, pay 120 bucks and you will get additional stash space. Now here is what Yannick has to say about this and about that skill effect, special exclusive Another skill Another thing that uh, sorry, a lot of people have been, been discussing is the uh, additional stash space that's available in, let's see, it's Ultimate Edition, Phoenix Shield Edition and yeah. the Definite Collector's Edition. Yeah. So, and that's, that's probably one of the biggest discussions out there, and we know it's still, it's still a thing, and uh, you know, even in, in chat we see that. So, uh, first, so additional stash space. So this is part of a pack that is called the Elite Agent Pack, uh, and the Elite Agent Pack comes in uh, three different versions. The Ultimate Edition, the Phoenix Shield Edition, I have to look at my notes because I don't want to confuse myself. So Ultimate Edition, Phoenix Shield Edition, and the Dark, so Dark Zone Definitive, Col Definitive Collector's Edition. Which we know is the American one. Which is the American one. Uh, and so one of the things in this Elite Agent Pack is, yes, uh, an extension of stash size. And there's been a lot of conversation about it. Uh, people have been asking, you know, what, how much size is that and everything. We are, we are not ready yet to talk about the numbers because stash size is still something that is, uh, you know, subject to balancing mm -hmm. when we're going to have, you know, all the final amount of items and all these kind of things. But what we wanted to tell you is that, you know, we are the people that made the Division 1. We know how important stash size is. And we've been through a lot uh, of, you know, conversations and, uh, and uh, improvements in the Division 1 regarding stash size. We are, you know, we are an item-based game. We are looter-shooter. So it's, uh, uh, we know that storage is a very big, uh, is a very big thing. So we want to make sure that stash size is going to be much more comfortable in the Division 2. So we want to make sure that there's going to be enough stash size for everyone. So where we wanted to reassure you is the fact that we want to have enough stash size for everybody so you don't need to buy that uh, Elite Agent pack in order to be able to store all your items. This one is just a bonus for the people that uh, really you know, want to hoard and collect everything. Uh, but the comfortable, uh, like the comfortable basis for us is going to be what is available to everyone. We are not looking at you know, uh, diminishing the amount of stash size available just to push people into buying that pack. That's really not what we want to do there. Right. And we're also currently not looking at paid options for 
No, 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 no. And that's also, yeah, that's also another, uh, another thing is like, are you going to add microtransactions for stash size or something? Yeah. This is not something we're considering right now. Uh, right now, the only thing that is available uh, for stash size is the Elite Agent Pack, uh, but we're not looking at anything beyond that uh, for the moment. So it's, no. really, it's really just, just that. The unique skill effect. Yes, uh, and this one is also part of the elite agent pack. Uh, there was there was a mention of a unique skill effect yep. uh, that is part of the elite agent pack, and some people started wondering, okay, is that <coughs> actually like a, a unique mode, uh, not mode mod, <laughs> unique <laughs> skill mode? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, the unique skill effect is just a visual effect. It's a visual customization of your skill. It doesn't affect at all the gameplay and the performance of the skill. No. It's actually being, we're in the process of renaming it to, uh, what is it, unique skill visual, I think. I didn't right. write it down, but I think. Something, something a bit Something like that. That, something rings, like that rings a bell. All right. It looks to me like they were trying to compete which game version will fuck up previous version more. And the saddest thing is that I will probably pre-order this Ultimate Edition. As a content creator, I really have no much of a choice. Which brings us to the fourth version of the pre-order of the Division 2, and it is a Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Dark Zone Collector's Edition, which is going to cost you 110 euros or dollars. With this one, you really need to be careful. The most confusions are coming right from this version of the game because it is a region based and after I tell you what is included in this version I will also let you see a Yannick explanation of the Dark Zone Collector's Edition. So let's get right to it. The Dark Zone Collector's Edition includes special physical content. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 game, the Dark Zone Limited Edition box, the Heather Ward statue by Ubi Collectibles, The Art of the Division 2 book of lithographs, a selected game soundtrack, world map and also some additional digital content, which is a 3 days early access to the game, the battle worn secret service pack including the secret service outfit, a rare quality emote, an exotic quality M4A1 skin, the capital defender pack including exotic SPAS 12 gauge shotgun, the weapon blueprint and the hazmat 2.0 outfit. But does not include the year one pass for the European region. So let's see how Yannick is going to explain this one. You're ready, you're here ready to, to clear up some. That's going to be my part. So yes. hang in there. Um, no, but I mean, yeah, there's been, there's been, a, you know, some confusion when we announced the pre-orders and there still is. Uh, we have, you know, we have a bunch of offers. The offers are actually different depending on the region you're in. If you're in Europe, in America and everything, you may have different <coughs> offers. Uh, and on top of that, there's an extra layer, which is that depending on the country you're in and the retailer you're going through, you may also have different, uh, different things. So there's a, lot of, uh, there's a lot of things out there. And uh, one of the big confusion I think we had with the offers was around the Dark Zone edition. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, so that's the one we really wanted to clear up because uh, that's one of the, that, you know, that has generated a lot of conversation and a lot of confusion between people. So just to clarify about the Dark Zone edition, uh, that, uh, that you've seen, and we've said that already a bit, but for those of you who, uh, who don't know that yet, there's actually there's two different Dark Zone editions uh, because of two regions. So there is one that is available in Europe, Middle East, Asia, that is the Dark Zone uh, Collector's Edition. Correct. And there is one that is available in the Americas, basically North Central and South America, that is called the Dark Zone Definitive Collector's Edition. Yes. So these are two different versions, so make sure when you're looking at the version you're going to buy, make sure you have the correct name. Only the one from your region is available to you anyway. So you cannot, if you're in Europe, you cannot buy the version from America and so on and so forth. But when you're going, if you're going on the Ubisoft store or anything, uh, that's one way at least to make sure to make the difference between both is actually to look at the name. So again, Dark Zone Collector's Edition is Europe, Middle East, Asia. This one does not include the year one pass. Uh, so that's where there's been also a lot of confusion. Does it or does it not? The Europe, Middle East, Asia, Dark Zone Collector's Edition does not include the year one pass. 
the North Central South America Dark Zone Definitive Collector's Edition does include the Year One Pass. So yep. just, to, just to make it clear. Yep. And with that said, we come to the last part of this video and the pre-order mess and the fifth version of the game, which is Tom Clancy's The Division 2 Phoenix Shield Collector's Edition, which is going to cost you a 249.99 euros or dollars. Yep, 250 bucks. Let's see what's inside. The Phoenix Shield Collector's Edition of Tom Clancy's The Division 2 game includes special physical content. Tom Clancy's The Division 2 game, the Phoenix Shield Limited Edition box, the Mark Johnson articulated figurine by Ubi Collectibles, an exclusive steelbook, the art of the Division 2 book of lithographs, a selected game soundtrack, world map and also some additional digital content such as a uh, three days early access to the game the battle worn secret service pack including the secret service outfit a rare quality emote and exotic quality m4a1 skin also the capital defender pack including exotic spas 12 gauge shotgun the weapon blueprint and the hazmat 2.0 outfit also, the first responder pack, including a special outfit and a weapon skin, and the elite agent pack, including an exotic assault rifle, an exclusive skill effect, and additional stash space. And that's it guys. I'm aware that making games is not cheap in essence, and all those people working on it has to be paid off, but uh, $250 is some serious money just for the video game. Alright, I get you, you will get those nice collectibles items, and I will also like to have at least one of those figurines from Ubi Collectibles, and maybe put them inside my The Division Only gaming PC, but unfortunately it is not going to happen. The mess around the pre-order is real and I will appreciate if you tell me your opinion on this subject in the comment section below this video. As always guys, drop a like, comment or subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video.